Welcome to the vlog. I am still waking up right now and I've got my energy drink. You know what, before we drink this, I'm gonna drink a lot of water. Let's all drink our water together, shall we? One, two, three. Ah, okay, this fabulous morning, we're having this sparkling prickly pear lime oasis Celsius. I've been watching too many ASMR fitness girls on TikTok and they always go like this. They always do that. Good morning, everybody. Ooh, you know when it just hits those taste buds? Oh, hello. So it is early in the morning and I am about to head out the door because I'm going to the gym with Alicia and Ash. I thought my fit today was so cute. This set is from Vitality. It's my first time trying their clothes, but I'm a big fan of Chloe Bounds. She's a fitness TikToker and she just did a collection with them. This isn't part of the collection, but I never had heard about the brand until I saw her stuff. And this is my first time trying it. It's so soft and so cute. I wanted the tank top but they only have the sports bra left so it's not the most supportive for like a larger chest and then on top I'm wearing this really cute Fabletics little pink orchid jacket and that's the fit for today I threw my hair back in this braid and I packed up a giant bag because we are going from the gym to an appointment to the studio to record some stuff and I needed to bring hair stuff makeup stuff outfit change and yeah so we're gonna be all over LA today before I head to the gym though I have some fun things that I thought we could open together I haven't done a haul in a little while and I I thought I would share some fun stuff. So first off, I placed an order on Sephora and I got some replenishments of things and I wanted to share them with you guys because I am super stoked. First off, I've been loving the House Labs foundation. Sorry for the morning voice. Also, I'm still waking up. Allergies are allergying. If you guys haven't tried this foundation, it's absolutely amazing. I got my normal shade, which is light medium neutral. And then because I've gotten a little bit more tan in the summer, I have medium neutral as well. It's amazing. It feels so light on the skin, but has really nice coverage and I love this so much. So I had to get a replenishment of that. Most of the stuff is just replenishments, but I wanted to share. I picked up this little gift with purchase situation with the points. This is from Isle of Paradise, which is one of my favorite body care brands. It came with their body polish and their body lotion and then a little baby tanner situation. I just like getting mini things for travel. So I grabbed that with my points. I'm such a big fan of one size beauty. I love Patrick so much. And I saw they dropped this ultimate setting powder, which I have the normal one right here. The the translucent one, love, love, love. But I saw they came out with a pink one that apparently is better for under eyes. And as I'm getting older, my under eyes are definitely getting darker. I swear you guys, in the past year, I feel like I've really noticed changes in my body and just like different things as just from aging. Just like the way my body moves, the way my body cracks. I have more under eye circles than I've ever had before. And while it's not ideal, it's also a part of aging and nothing to be scared about. So got that. <laughs> All to say I got a pink powder. I got another one of my favorite brow pencils. I swear you guys, this is the best brow pencil I've ever tried. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I used to be the biggest fan of the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but if you like it a little bit more creamy and a little bit more pigment, I like these so much. The Brow Wizzes are good if you like kind of like a waxy formula, but I feel like these are a little bit more user friendly. So I love this so much. I got another one of these. And then last but not least, I just got a replenishment. These really all were just mostly replenishments of my favorite concealer right now. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I got a darker shade because the shade that I'm using right now is a little light. Actually, I'm going to pack this in my makeup bag today. I'm going to throw my brow pencil in too, but this is the most pigmented hot concealer. I swear, hopefully I shade match. That actually looks a little too damn, but this mixed with my other one will hopefully make the perfect shade for me right now. It's amazing. If you guys have acne scarring like myself, discoloration, or just want a good concealer, I swear it's so, so, so good. It lasts all day and is super pigmented and doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. All right, so that's what I grabbed from Sephora. Also, you guys have probably seen this giant bag in the background of my videos. Like, oh my God, look, it looks like me. You can probably recognize this gorgeous photo. Skims sent me this bag to my house and I've been just waiting for the perfect time to open it. I was like, this constitutes a filming moment. I just haven't yet and I have no idea what's in here and I thought it'd be fun to open together. So let's, ow, let's open this together. You guys know what a big Skims fan I am. I love their body suits, their shapewear, their loungewear, their swimsuits. Like I love all their stuff. It's just all so comfy and well made. And they sponsored the podcast recently, which was really exciting and such an easy podcast to read. I didn't even need my notes, but I don't know what's in here. Oh, we got a box in a bag. Oh, it's heavy. <gasps> oh, how exciting! In the box, we have... Dun, 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 dun. Wow, look at all this packaging. Wow, I can't believe I got Skims PR. This is crazy. 
Ooh, okay, speaking of their shapewear, we have their scoop neck thong bodysuit. We've got their bralette, I love their bralettes. And we've got their high waist brief. I actually don't think I've tried this yet. Awesome, I need all the shapewear I can get. I love shapewear. And then, oh my God, look at this. This is so cute. This gorgeous purple bralette. Oh wait, is this a swimsuit? Oh, it's a swimsuit. Okay, we've got the scoop neck purple swimsuit top. We've got the tie side bottoms. These are one of my favorite bottoms ever because you can really adjust. You know, our bodies are always fluctuating. So sometimes I need a little looser. Sometimes I need a little tighter. And I like having the freedom of the little side tie. So we got that. Oh, I, I personally am just a huge fan of a simple triangle top side tie bottom because I feel like again, it's adjustable. And it's just comfy. I see sequins and I'm really excited about the sequins. <gasps> a sequin purple skirt. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm just like throwing it right in front of the camera. We've got, oh, this is cute too. We got a little, little high-waisted bottom. And then we've got this, oh my God, a little purple tank top. This is so pretty. I love purple, purple tank top. And then we've got, oh, adorable, like a maxi t-shirt dress. Perfect for a beach vacation, which I'm going on soon. <gasps> I'm so excited. We got hot pink. Oh, cute. Like a little shawl cover up situation. Neon pink. I actually bought their neon bodysuits. I've worn them on Pretty Basic if you have seen. <gasps> a neon pink maxi dress. This is so exciting. And then, <gasps> stop. Is this their. Yes, it's their pajamas. I love their pajamas. We've got the baby pink little pajama set with the pants. I already own these in the brown, the gray, and the black, and they are some of my favorites ever. Wow, I can't believe this was sitting there for so long. And so much more. Okay, I'll go quickly. Oh, I've never tried this collection before, but we've got the little baby blue. I love this color. Little sports bra. I love their cotton stuff. What is this? Little, oh, little boy shorts. <gasps> Very comfortable. A little underwear. Little boxer brief situation with the nude. Little, little shorts. T-shirt. Cal even wears like the Skims men's stuff, the boyfriend stuff. Actually, I think this might be it. So soft, so comfy. I love their tank tops. Wow, I was so spoiled. Thank you so much. A little bralette. And then last but not least, we've got a little nude lacy set, which I did buy some of the stuff from this collection and I love it. I love the bodysuit and the dresses. Thank you so much, Skims. This is so crazy. Can't believe I have a, a pile of stuff here sitting on my floor. And last but not least, I made an order on a brand that I've been wanting to purchase from for so long. I actually see Ash wearing her stuff all the time and it looks amazing on her and I wanted to try it. So I made an order on Jerf Avenue and I got a couple things. I might need scissors to open this. Oh, here we go. Gorgeous. <gasps> really nice packaging. So I really wanted to try these linen pants because I love linen pants so much, but to be fully honest, I have never been able to find a pair that looks and fits me very well. So I wanted to try these out. I got these little cream ones that I probably will definitely have to get shortened, it looks like. So if these fit, I'll be sure to get these tailored so I don't drag my pants on the ground like I always do. And then the other two things I got, I purchased because I saw Whitney Simmons wear them every day. And as we all know, I'm a robe girl through and through. I'm a loungewear girl through and through, and her robes look really nice, so I couldn't decide on a print, so I got two to try. How adorable is this? So I got the white one with the berries. I also wanted to get, like, she had like a kitchen apron. She had so many cute things, but I wanted to try the robes first because I knew I'd wear them the most. And then I see Whitney wearing this one all the time. It's like this yellow, very pale yellow with different fruits on it, and I'm really happy about this purchase. I can't wait to wear these in every vlog, in the morning while I'm making my coffee and just hanging out. <gasps> I can't wait. So I I'm definitely gonna try these out tomorrow, see how I feel. And that was my haul of just things that I've been accumulating. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's get to the gym. See you there. Hello guys, it is later. As you can see, I'm at Alicia's. We went to the gym, just went to an appointment and I stopped at Joe and the Juice and I got myself a tuna gato. I actually haven't had one in a little while now. I was on a kick for a minute, but it sounded really good today. And I got my little pink carrying case. Okay, so I got a tuna gato on gluten-free bread. I did extra pesto. I did the pickled onion, which is so good. And then I added cucumber as well. Oh my God, it looks so delicious. This is their gluten-free bread. 
Mmm, it's crunchy. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. I got an iced matcha. I did arms today. And now I'm gonna eat this, go shower, and then get ready to head over to the studio. Hi guys, it is the next morning. I, yesterday after doing the pod, I ended up just going home and really just chilled out. Took a shower, watched some Parks and Rec with Cal, had dinner, and then watched the Summer I Turned Pretty finale, which made me sob. Cannot wait for season three. I am team Conrad through and through. I don't understand people that are team Jeremy. Maya. Ollie is team Jeremiah. Sorry if I'm putting you on blast, Ollie, but I just, I cannot understand when Belly and Conrad are endgame, but that's besides the point. Good morning. It's the next day. It's Friday, and I have such a fun day today. We're starting off our morning at Trader Joe's. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in forever, and I need to grab just like random groceries, but there's also a few things here specifically that are new that I want to grab, so I'll do a haul for you guys later, and then Cal and I are having a date day. We're going to see the family. I'm just really excited. It's going to be a fabulous day, so Let's go inside, yay! First up, we got some flowers. Completely zoned out and forgot to vlog and I was having so much fun grabbing things, but just know I am shopping and I've been really wanting these hash browns too. I love these so much. Hello guys, got the groceries in the car and I'm stopping at Starbucks on the way home because I want a brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso so badly, like just that flavor sounds amazing today. So I am getting that and then we'll head home and do the haul. I got some really good stuff. The parking lot was madness. So many people trying to go to Trader Joe's on a Friday, but I got my stuff and I'm excited. And I'm really excited to have this coursing through my veins. So hopefully in like 10 minutes, it will be. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm at Starbucks. Do you want anything to drink or eat? Sure. I'll do a, I'll do a coffee. Just a black coffee? I guess I'll do a nitro cold brew. Vanilla, please. With the sugar-free vanilla. Okay. Got you. Yes, please. Okay. Hi. Good morning. My name is Remy. What can I get for you today? Can I please do a grande brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Grande brown sugar shake and espresso? Okay. Yes. Can I just do two pumps of the brown sugar in that, please? Yeah. Only two pumps. Okay. Yes. And and then I'll also do a, a grande nitro cold brew with sugar-free vanilla. I'm so excited. Okay, we're back home. I got my groceries. I wanna get a live reaction, watch this. Look what's back in season. Let's go! At the store, I got so excited for you. These are Cal, I really like these, but these are Cal's like, would you say your favorite chip? It's up there. Top five, for sure. For sure. They're so, so good. I'm opening these now. You're gonna eat it now? Yeah. <laughs> Just a light morning snack. Yeah. We've got our coffee. Mmm. It's so good. I am the queen of never finishing drinks. Cal can attest to that. Uh-huh. <laughs> but this, I can chug no problem. This and water, these are the two things I can chug in life. All right, time to do our haul of what we got at the store. First up, I got two bouquets of these flowers. I'm gonna be honest, they looked more pink with my sunglasses on and now they look very purple, but regardless, I mean, love that they match the shirt, so cute. I'm pretty sure this is all very random. We've got a bag of spinach for juicing and for smoothies and things. I love this bread specifically from Trader Joe's. They're gluten-free, whole grain bread. It's some of the best gluten-free breads I've tried. Sometimes they're a little too spongy and just don't have like a good texture. I like the texture of this one a lot. It's just like a very small slice. I think Cal's doing something upstairs. Okay, <gasps> then I really wanted to try these because I saw them online and they're so cute. So these are the new tiniest chocolate chip cookies, you guys. These look like if you grew up in the 90s or maybe like early 2000s, you remember Grips. It was like a little handheld bag with like mini Cheez-Its. They had mini Chips Ahoy and then mini something else. But these reminded me of them and I thought how cute would it be to use these for baking? Oh yeah, it says like put it on cupcakes, ice cream, little cakes. I thought in the Ninja Creamy would be really good and also just like a handful of the snacks. So I got these. Also, these strawberries smelled so good. So I got a big thing of strawberries. I also got some kiwi. I got sun gold kiwis because they sounded really good. I prefer these over the green ones because these are a little bit less acidic and a little bit sweeter, but kiwis in general, I do love. We got some turkey meat for sandwiches. This turkey meat is great because if you look at the ingredients, it's literally just turkey breast, water, and salt. I didn't realize how many sandwich meats, like the packaged ones, come with so many additives and things. So if you're looking for one that has less, this is a good option. I got two dozen of these jumbo brown eggs because we're all out of eggs and I go through eggs like they're going out of business. So I got a couple dozen eggs. 
just for eating and baking and cooking and things like that. I swear, every time I turn the camera on, you start playing. I got two giant zucchinis. I'm gonna saute one and then use one to make turkey burgers, which I got ground turkey. I'll show you that too. In the other bag, we have a loaf of just regular sourdough bread, sandwiches, toast, things like that. Next up, I've been dying to try these noodles. So these are the squiggly knife cut noodles with soy and sesame sauce. I love the shape of this. I've yet to try these, but I've seen them all over TikTok and I saw a girl recently made these into Dan Dan noodles by putting a little peanut butter inside, green onions, things like that. You guys know I love a prepackaged noodle so much and these just sound absolutely delicious. They kind of remind me of the Momofuku ones, but I love the little squiggly texture. So I can't wait to try these. I got this gluten-free all-purpose flour. Again, when I try gluten-free flours for baking or for whatever it may be, a lot of times they're like a pea base or like a chickpea base, I'm pretty sure. And I find like it's a little bit grainy. This was more of a potato starch and tapioca starch base. So I wanted to try this and see if it's good. Woke up craving raspberries. So I got two containers of raspberries. I got ground turkey to make some turkey burgers. I got some prepackaged salads. I got a harvest salad with grilled chicken. I love a little prepacked moment because it's just so quick and easy. Southwest salad. I got, oh, I got these at the little uh, cash register. They're like little peel away fruit leather buttons. There's grape mango and strawberry mango. I love fruit leather or dehydrated fruit in general so much. So I thought these were fun. Little snack on the go. Some little chicken breast tenders just to cook up. Two things of ground turkey to make my turkey burgers, or rather it's Cal's recipe that I totally stole and they're so good. These little mini chicken tacos just to throw in the air fryer for a quick little lunchy snack. I love a mini chicken taco. I got those hash browns as you saw. Kale Caesar salad pack. I got these little frozen thok that they have now. I usually keep a couple variations in my freezer at all times, but I went through all my bags. So I figured I'd try these ones out. I mean, they're probably just as good as the ones from the Asian grocery store, but these are like little sliced ones that you can put into, I mean, you can stir fry them. You can use them in like soups like fuckook and things like that. I've been also really craving Brussels sprouts, but they didn't have like the regular pack. So I just bought these two. Like these are microwavable ones, but I'll probably like saute or bake them. But they're giant. Look how big those are. I'm very excited. I've been eating a lot of Brussels sprouts lately. And then last but not least, I just got this to keep in the freezer and kind of try it out for a night where we're in a pinch. This is just Korean short ribs, Korean beef short ribs, also known as kalbi. But I thought it'd be cool to keep it in the freezer and just use it on a night where, you know, I don't know what to make and it's quick and easy and I'm excited to try the marinade. So that's everything that we got. Got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna put everything away, put the flowers in water and then Cal is taking me out on a little date today. So I don't know where we're going. He's very keen on keeping it a surprise. So we will see, but let me clean up. Cal has surprised me with a cute brunch. Yeah. Hi babe, thank you. This is so pretty. Wow. Hi hot date. Hi hot date. <laughs> we got cauliflower bravas. They look fantastic. Never tried those, but I like a pota potato brava, patata brava. I don't think I've ever had those. They're delicious. And then Cal got a, what is that, babe? Spicy pineapple margarita. Yum. And I'm stealing this. <laughs> He's taking the, the recipe, not the glass. We're leaving the glass. We crushed the cauliflower. I got a tomato burrata salad with chicken. Cal got some monstrous fish tacos. Those look good. Yeah. Yum. After a two and a half hour drive, we made it to see Shane and Lily and Holden. Woo. I'm so excited. I missed him so much. And Cal hasn't seen him since he was like a few days tiny, old. Yeah. Tiny, tiny, he's so big now. <gasps> did you go to the aquarium? Did, yes! <gasps> Everybody commented that he should be a Gerber baby, by the way. Right? <gasps> he's so cute. You are such a cute, <gasps> what's that? What are you smiling at? <laughs> Isn't he so big now? <laughs> he's huge. Like <gasps> You're such a big boy now. He yeah. is a boy, big boy. <laughs> Say, I'm not a baby, I'm a boy. Big boy. Big boy. I love you. Yes, I love you. I love you. I love you. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. I love you. I love you. Who can hold their head up now? Me. Me. I'm just a big boy. Yeah, I'm only three months. I did you big boy. Yeah. Hello everybody. Okay, we played with Holden for a little bit and now he's going down for a nap. So we are going to dinner and I'm so excited because we are going to get Shabu. Cal has tried Shabu Shabu one time, but I didn't take him to the best place. We went to like a random one that we'd never been to. It was okay, but we're going tonight to my favorite Shabu restaurant and it is amazing. It's called All That Shabu in Irvine. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about it because they also have All That Barbecue. They're like sister restaurants. It's fantastic. It is also a 84 degrees out and we're eating hot 
hot soup, but there's never a bad time for hot soup and for Cal to experience what is all that shabu because they have actually like a hundred options for things. Huh? Ah. Ah. <laughs> That's exactly how I was hoping you'd reply. <laughs> Are you ready for hot soup and hot weather? I'm ready. I'm ready. We're here, no wait, and they're playing twice. Already off to a fabulous start. We have made it to the, I guess like, not toppings, but veggie, veggie and add-in section. I'm a cabbage girl through and through. Mm-hmm. Here you go, babe, help yourself. All right, spread, we got some little like appetizers, tteokbokki, we got some crab, I got my peanut, ponzu, and extra things to go into the broth to flavor. Garlic, green onions, chili oil, and then this is all my little mix-ins, along with all the meats. Are you impressed thus far? Very backlit. This is insane. He's excited. Oh my God. <laughs> Dinner was fabulous, and now we are ending our night with some dessert. My parents requested Dairy Queen, so we're gonna bring some back, and you best bet I'm getting a dipped cone. And Cal's favorite dessert in the world, what is it, babe? Choco Brownie Extreme. Choco Brownie Extreme Blizzard. Let's go. These ice cream cakes look bomb, and they've got little ice cream bars. <gasps> What's this one? Buster bar. That looks good. Mm-hmm. This is the regular chocolate shake. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, it is the next morning. We had so much fun last night with baby Holden and we had dinner and ice cream and it was so fun. We ended up coming back last night and did we even watch TV? We just like hung out and went to bed, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, we didn't even watch anything. We're now up and we're watching Suits and I made breakfast and it looks so good and I'm so excited. We have here some gluten-free tortillas. These are the ones, the Cayotas ones. They're amazing and like small little taco sized ones and I wanted breakfast tacos. So I made some caramelized onion that I'm gonna keep in the fridge and use throughout the rest of the next couple days because this won't last me long. We had some avocado and some scrambled eggs and then some cubed up breakfast sausage. And then on top of that, we did the hot and sweet jalapenos from Trader Joe's, a little bit of the juice, we're almost out. Any excuse I have to put these on something, I will do it. They look so good, I'm so hungry. Let's take a big bite together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, you just put it over the top. See you soon. Hello, we had our breakfast, and now we are going to where, Cal? Going to the gym. Going to the gym. I am really tired right now. Like, it just hit me as soon as we arrived, of course. I'm drinking my Kimade, though. I've been putting all of my energy drinks in these little, like, canister, what are these called? Like, a cooler koozie situation? Yeah, koozie. I love this thing. I thought a koozie was, like, soft, but this, like, hard one, and it keeps your drink cold all day long, and I just feel like energy drinks are more more enjoyable when they're cold because who wants a warm energy drink? But this is fabulous. I'm gonna bring this in and we're gonna have a good workout. What are you hitting today? I'm hitting the tread mm -hmm. and I'm hitting some weights. Hell yeah. And water. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'm doing the same. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do a leg day. Pray for me. Now we're getting lunch. He goes, did you just point at the ground? Yes, I did. We worked out. We also just stopped to Target, got some paper towels and water bottles, and now lunch. Where are we going, my dude? We're going to Chipotle. <laughs> this looks so good. Also, they ran out of the vinaigrette, so I'm bummed, but it still looks delicious. Home. We went in the jacuzzi, took a shower. I am now in my robe, and I'm gonna lay on the couch until further notice watching Suits. I don't know if I have any plans tonight. I don't know what's happening, but I'm just gonna chug my water and hang out. Also, underneath said robe, I'm wearing the new little Skims bralette with the tank, and then I have the underwear on underneath, but I don't like to just like hang out in my underwear. I know some people do. I personally like shorts on, so I threw on my pajama shorts, and this is the chill fit. Okay, bye. I'll keep you updated if anything actually happens, but I don't think anything will.